I just spent a month making a hard card game in the 2022 plus one Scream Jam. This jam was like a lot of other game jams except for one special thing. This jam didn't have a theme. I personally have always been a fan of scary games and movies. <laughs> So I, I was excited to get started, but first I needed a team. Usually I like to form a team about a week or two before the jam actually starts and I've never had any issues trying to join a team. I made a mistake. Our final team consisted of two sound designers, two programmers, one artist, and one game designer. I was working as a programmer and the team lead, so I felt like I had to come up with a really great idea. I took a lot of inspiration from the card game Inscription, which is a meta horror 3D game that blends reality and the game together into this really trippy experience. So my idea was, what if we made Inscription, but worse? I thought the idea was really good, but everyone else wanted to make something that was good or unique or actually fun. <laughs> Our game designer came up with a really cool idea based off of the sacrifice mechanic in Inscription. His idea was, what if we linked the player's health with the summoning cost of the card? So whenever you played a card, health would be taken away from you. We got started making the base of the game. I was working on the system to create cards easily for the game. Our other programmer was working on creating a finite state machine to transition the player through the different stages of a round. Our artist immediately started working on creating all the card designs. We weren't sure how many cards we would have. Our story wasn't fully fleshed out. We weren't even 100% sure about the mechanics. We were slowly starting to get more and more done. And then during one of our meetings, Paul, our other programmer, just threw out the idea that it would be cool to have some sort of chess movement mechanic. Our game designer really liked that idea. So now we had cards that moved around on a grid. Another idea that was derived from inscription was the sacrifice mechanic, but ours worked a bit differently. There would be some points in the game where you might want to summon a card but don't have enough health to do it so the idea behind our sacrificing mechanic was that if you had cards on the field you could sacrifice those cards to summon a different card reducing or eliminating the health or blood cost that it would take to summon the new card the problem i kept running into wasn't actually the mechanic itself it was the fact that the visuals weren't properly displaying the different states of the card when you marked a card for sacrifice a little skull was supposed to pop up i got to work in the first day I pushed everything to GitHub, nobody else touched the code, and the next day it wasn't working. I had no clue what the issue was. Paul the programmer has about 9 years of experience on top of me, he looked through my code and he said the problem was a race condition. I told him, Paul, what are you talking about? We're making a card game, not an F1 simulator. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to mitigate race conditions. All that isn't really important. What was important was that I couldn't fix it within the amount of time we had left. Also, the cards were supposed to have different abilities and we were supposed to have spell cards. Also, we didn't have a story. There was two days left and I still had so much I had to get done. For the next two days, I slept about five hours in total, but I got stuff done. AI, done. Spell card, done. UI, done. We had to drop the card abilities, we had to drop the story, and everything was really rough, but I got it done. I went to sleep with about eight hours left in the jam. I woke up three hours left. I looked at the project and it was really rough, but we had a game. I started building the game. When you build a game, you basically export to different platforms. One of those platforms and probably the most important platform for game jams is web. If you have a web build, you'll get tons of more people playing your game because you don't have to download anything. You can just play in browser. Little did I know that our middleware software called Wise did not have have support for web builds. It was such a huge punch to the gut. I was sleep deprived, I was very emotional, but it wasn't the end of the world. We could still build for Windows and at least some people would play the game. The Windows build was able to complete and I started uploading the build to itch. The past 10 days had felt like a huge obstacle and problems and bugs kept popping up, but the build was finally on itch. Before I submitted the game, I just wanted to double check that everything was working, so I opened up the game and ran it. And then nothing was working. I, I couldn't click anything. The game was working fine in the Unity editor, but it wasn't working as a Windows build. 
there was just two hours left. I spent the next hour and 50 minutes looking online, researching different builds and why stuff would suddenly break when you built to a new platform, but would work fine in the editor. I could not find anything. Last 10 minutes of the jam, I decided to look through the code again and see if there was a mistake somewhere in there. I had the game jam page on a second monitor and I was refreshing, making sure I still had time left. The feeling of watching 10 days of work go to waste was one of the most disappointing things I had ever felt. Everyone had put in so much effort into this project and for it to be just stripped away at the last minute, it felt really bad. But I saw that they had extended the upload period for an unspecified amount of time. At that point, I had already accepted that I wasn't going to be able to find the issue. But I decided to spend the next few hours just trying stuff to see maybe if I could find the issue. I looked through the code and I did find a few bugs but nothing that could cause the issue. So I eventually just started creating builds, making minor adjustments to the code. Build after build, none of them worked. But I decided to go through the code one more time and check everything, every single file to make sure I didn't miss anything. Before I was skipping over code that definitely did work, but just one last check to make sure I tried everything. And then I saw something. Basically, this block of code was checking what hand did each card belong to. And the thing that caught my eye was specifically this line. I saw this and I got confused because it should be nearly identical to the line above. The line of code should be this. But the reason why I was confused was because this line of code should break the Unity version 2, not just the Windows version. Still not understanding why the Unity version was working, I fixed it. I named the build folder Hope, and then I clicked build. It was working, but I knew I still wasn't finished yet. I actually had to get it uploaded up to Edge before they shut down submissions. I rushed so hard over to our game page and uploaded. It felt like I was on 10 kilobytes a second. I, I wasn't, but it, it just felt like that. It finished uploading, I submitted, and we got our game through. Anyways, we rated really low. <laughs> People didn't like the game. <laughs> We got uh, 96 out of 151, so like not terrible, but it wasn't great. A lot of it came down to the complexity of the game and a bunch of bugs that were still present. I was planning on joining a different jam that was coming up in just a couple of weeks, and I don't know if it was because the whole experience made me feel attached to the game, but I decided to continue working on it with the time I had before the next jam started. So I did. I made a bunch of bug fixes, and I even created a settings menu, and I redid the UI, and I added a couple more enemies. Me AIs, I put so much work into this project after the jam ended, and I knew that no one was going to play it. And that was right, no one played it. I think it got one download since the jam finished. So, this is my quick plea to you that if you are on the fence about trying out this game, please go try it out. I put so much effort into it. So, if you play it, let me know or join my Discord and leave a comment there. If you find any bugs or suggestions, you can feel free to leave a comment. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not going to do anything about it, but I, I, I like hearing suggestions and, and hearing about bugs. That was my experience working on this game over the course of a month. I joined another game jam directly after finishing this game, and that video will be posted next week. If you're interested in that, click subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.